dear students i shall continue some more problems on bernoulli's differential equation because that is the most important topic for you in the uh, differential equations so that i will extend uh, few more cases uh, to solve how the problems uh, can be reduced from non linearity the, uh, to the linearity problems okay the next uh, case i am going to take up as uh, the problem uh, with the differential equation in the presence of uh, trigonometric functions solve <coughs> dy by dx plus of tan x tan y is equal to cos x into it is secant y dy by dx plus tan x into tan y is equal to cos x into secant y this is the problem where uh, you do, do not have <coughs> the terms of x separately uh, x and y separately like in the second term in lhs and uh, rhs term also but because of the presence of secant y yeah, though it is a form form of a dy by dx secant y then you can declare this as uh, bernoulli's differential equation which is the extra term here that is to be removed okay first of all i will divide by this secant y because because you have dy by dx plus of px into y is equal to qx into y to the power n this y to the power n is i am connecting with secant y because that secant y i had to remove then uh, cos x only will remain on the right side <coughs> that is 1 divided by it is secant y dy by dx plus of that is tan x into tan y divided by it is secant y z equal to cos x entirely both the terms in this uh, particular step that is left side second term and uh, right side uh, quantity both are not uh, the, with the variables independently. They are the functions of trigonometric values. That is one is cos, next is secant, another is tan uh, in the form of y and tan in the form of x. So therefore, we have to accept this is not a linear differential equation and it comes under the uh, case of Bernoulli's differential equation. That is one divided by secant y, that is dy by dx and uh, plus of it is tan x and tan x uh, into tan y so this is a product and everything better you express in terms of uh, sin and cos then the simplification can be uh, compared from lhs to rhs what is 1 by secant y i am going to write uh, dividing by dividing by secant y that gives like this what is 1 by secant y that is 1 divided by it is cos y then it is dy by <coughs> dx tan x it should be sin x divided by it is cos x what is tan y sin y divided by it is cos y what is secant y 1 divided by 1 by it is cos y what is right side you remain you write the same thing as it is cos x. <clears throat> Hope you are following all of you because uh, the trigonometric functions you are dealing with in this problem, the entire uh, uh, calculation will depend on your trigonometric functions, introducing what value and then eliminating what value and then calculating the integrating factor that plays a major role. Here 1 divided by 1 by cos y, this 1 by cos y is for secant y, then what happens? this cos comes to numerator that is cos y dy by dx okay and here anything uh, we can cancel this cos y this one we can cancel correct huh? then this is sin x divided by it is cos x into sin y right that is equal to it is cos x now take the proper substitution 
put sin y so that it, it should refl reflect as a differentiation here that is sin y if you take as another variable sin y is equal to t this implies cos y on differentiation it is dy because that product is available so that cos y into dy is equal to what it is dt okay now clearly observe that you uh, you have sin x by cos x and sin y which if you take substitution uh, properly so that you can write this product together can be replaced by dt that is possible only when you go for this sin y uh, but if you take this function then you will not get uh, 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 the coefficient to be replaced and it is not the way it is not the way to take because it is in the form dy by dx but not in the form of dx by dy was it appeared as dx by dy then you would have considered uh, one among these two uh, which which is going to map with uh, the product replacement uh, but that is not the correct uh, term which you have to take but sin y if you take then it will give back on differentiation that is cos y dy uh, product together can be replaced as some other dependent variable your dependent variable is y okay and your dependent variable is t that means you are converting the whole uh, uh, differential equation which is in the format of uh, x and y in the for form of that is t and x okay so let me substitute all these values in the above equation this cos y and then dy i'll put it as this one as dt that is dt divided by it is dx and plus of okay here t i can put it that is sin x by it is cos x together this is a coefficient and t this is equal to cos x so now it is uh, a very convenient very comfortable step as you can see it is uh, the linear differential equation what is that d t by dx according to your existing derivative p of x into t is equal to q of x is there right it it maps with the standard form <coughs> that standard form dependent variable coefficient is p of x that p of x is nothing but this value and q of x is nothing but this value right so when q of x is uh, right side is free from the dependent variable then immediately we can declare that as linear differential equation so now i'll select only this part for uh, calculating the integrating factor then i of i can write i of is equal to e to the power integral that is p of x into dx that is e to the power uh, sin x right divided by it is cos x right it is dx now you have to write sin x by cos x that means tan x integration is it not uh, integration of tan x that means what is that integration tan x uh, integration otherwise you can write sin x by cos x differentiation of denominator if it appears in numerator then it is the ratio okay what is the formula <coughs> that formula is integration f dash of x divided by f of x dx is equal to log of it is f of x and plus constant what is the formula you are utilizing here <coughs> ratio that ratio should map with uh, uh, whenever the differentiation of denominator if it appears in numerator that is f of x in uh, as f dash of x and the ratio of such functions should be uh, taken as log of denominator plus constant so log of denominator plus constant means log of that is uh, here we are going to write the differentiation of cos x we are going to expect cos x as minus sin x but this minus sin is not there then we need to multiply by minus sin that is equal to e to the power minus <coughs> log of what it is log of cos x e to the power minus log of cos x what is that e to the power log of it is cos x to the power it is minus 1 then it is equal to uh, cos x to the power minus 1 that is equal to 1 divided by it is cos x 
<coughs> 1 divided by cos x will be the value of integrating factor. <coughs> I'm sorry. That is integrating factor is equal to 1 divided by cos x you can write as it is otherwise 1 divided by cos x you can write it as uh, secant x also. If you want to take that can be taken as secant x otherwise you can leave the answer in terms of 1 by cos x. Then uh, what is our uh, uh, linear differential equation? This one okay. This is our linear differential equation after the conversion from the given problem then this is our integrating factor that is secant x. Now the solution is solution is uh, you know, dependent variable it is t right dependent variable into integrating factor into integrating factor is equal to integration that is q of x means cos x this is right side term into it is secant x dx and plus of constant. Correct? Huh? <coughs> that is t into integrating factor and uh, according to the formula that is dependent variable into integrating factor is equal to integration of uh, whatever the function on RHS appears that you must multiply with the integrating factor. Okay. So, t into secant x is equal to uh, cos x into secant. Secant means 1 by cos that becomes dx only cos cos cancels and then it is dx and plus constant. This is equal to a very simple form you are getting x plus c. Then what is the value of t? It is sin y. So, sin y into secant x is equal to x plus c is your final answer for the problem where uh, the given problem was in terms of only the trigonometric functions which comes under the application of uh, Bernoulli's differential equation. Of the same type, one more uh, little complicated type uh, I will take uh, on the application of Bernoulli's differential equation. Let me uh, try to uh, explain uh, the solution steps for that problem also. That problem is like this. So, dy by dx plus of minus it is tan y by 1 plus x is equal to 1 plus <coughs> x into e to the power x it is secant y is there. dy by dx minus plus of minus tan y divided by 1 plus x is equal to that is 1 plus x into e to the power x that is secant y. This is uh, still more complicated when you compare with the previous problems because uh, initially I had taken two elementary problem and then we moved on to the product of uh, polynomial and trigonometric then we moved on to uh, trigonometric and exponential then uh, trigonometric with uh, reciprocal value that is uh, trigonometric function and reciprocal of the polynomial that means 1 divided by 1 plus x form we have uh, in this situation. Let us see how this problem supports uh, to find out the integrating factor and then solution. But how do you uh, immediately start your solution? Uh, it comes in the category of uh, Bernoulli's differential equation because uh, uh, first of all you have to observe whether the problem is suitable for uh, separation of variables as we discussed in the previous methods. If it is uh, not possible then you will go for uh, um, uh, homogeneous type. If it is not coming in the category of homogeneous then you will go for reducible to homogeneous. If it is not there then you will go to exact. Otherwise uh, we will directly come to linear and uh, Bernoulli's differential equation. Anyway it is not a linear differential equation because right side is for not free from uh, uh, one uh, symbol because both the symbols are there on the right side. So that it is damn certain that it should be not a linear differential equation it comes in the category of Bernoulli's differential equation. Okay. How this uh, Bernoulli's differential equation is to be solved? 
then uh, here right side but anyway they are given uh, in the correct format correct format as I wrote for the previous problem like uh, dy by dx plus p of x into it is y is equal to q of x into y to the power n of this nature we have written ok. Here what is the uh, change you can notice from the previous problem to this problem ok. In the previous problem we did not have this uh, polynomial term in the denominator but here combination of both we have in this problem right and here this is a product this is entirely this part is entirely with respect to x form this part is y so that I will take this as I will take this as y to the power n comparison that is secant y is equal to y to the power n comparison because of the presence of this we can consider this problem in the category of Bernoulli's differential equation. It is not uh, some comfortable step that we can observe and all of a sudden we can write the solution but it needs uh, 3 to 4 uh, uh, steps proper analysis right. First uh, division, first division what you have to take? You have to remove secant y ok. First is dividing by secant y. Let me do that. 1 divided by it is secant y here and it is dy by dx and plus of there is a minus sign minus it is tan y divided by 1 plus x right and you can put it in the brackets 1 plus x you can put it in the brackets and uh, what else you are going to take it is dividing by secant that means 1 by it is secant y right side that is 1 plus x into e to the power x is there what is 1 plus uh, uh, sorry what is 1 divided by secant y Sec 1 divided by secant y means 1 by 1 by cos y that becomes cos y right cos y and uh, what else dy by dx hope you have understood this secant y because secant y is equal to 1 divided by cos y but this is appeared in denominator that cos y comes to numerator. So, I have written numerator ok and plus of minus it is sin y right sin y divided by 1 plus x into tan means sin y by cos y right and multiply to as I told you secant y this is cos y which comes to numerator that is equal to that is equal to what uh, anyway that is equal to 1 plus x as it is and then e to the power x. Observe every term here what the rearrangement or what the simplification you are, uh, you are supposed to take uh, the simplification should match with the next substitution you have to plan. So, when you take the substitution exactly you should take the uh, product together for the replacement ok. We will verify how that behaves. Now, this cos y you can cancel cos y dy by dx and plus of ok minus 1 divided by 1 plus x you put this value in the brackets and uh, sin y right and that is equal to 1 plus x into e to the power x. This is your uh, simple logical rearrangement of the step because you have product of two terms here and product of two terms here which one if you take substitution it will produce after differentiation so, the, so that you can conveniently replace that product together. Now, this you can guess with this ok. You can guess right sin y if you take differentiation it gives cos y into dy. So, that is available right. So, that it is convenient that you must put that sin y outside this quantity because it should match with the standard format. Therefore, put sin y is equal to t then differentiation gives cos y it is dy it is equal to dt. Therefore, uh, cos y into 
this much can be replaced with the dt. Therefore, dt divided by it is dt divided by dx and plus of minus 1 divided by 1 plus x, right? Minus 1 divided by 1 plus x sin y you had taken as t, you write as it is z equal to 1 plus x into that must, that must be e to the power x is there, okay? Then uh, what is the next uh, substitution you can choose? Uh, that substitution is for uh, comparison with the standard format and then integrating factor is to be estimated after finding that uh, you assume that it is uh, now it is already linear differential equation that was not linear we made it as linear from when once it is converted to linear then you start uh, calculating uh, the uh, integrating factor and then integrating factor after calculation then you go for writing the usual step of solution okay that is minus 1 divided by 1 plus x will be the value of px. So, this you can compare that is dt by dx plus of it is p of x into t is equal to q of x. Exactly of this kind your problem the given problem is reduced. So, that it is a very very simple term and very very uh, complicated term there, but it is reduced to very very simple term. That simple term you have to analyze that is px equal to should be minus 1 divided by 1 plus x and qx uh, will be z equal to 1 plus x into it is e to the power x is there. Now, what you have to take that is dt by dx. So, dt by dx as it is when you take uh, now our job is to find out the integrating factor by taking from the value that is p of x is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x. There is a minus sign given there minus sign. You have to make a carry forward of, of that minus sign. Therefore, i f is equal to e to the power integration. It should be p x for this format. For this format, e to the uh, e to the power p of x should be written. It is dx. What is that value? e to the power integration 1 divided by 1 plus x that is the value of px then it is dx. This is equal to e to the power minus log of it is 1 plus x is there e to the power minus log of 1 plus x that is equal to uh, e to the power log of that is 1 plus x whole to the power it is minus 1 that is uh, 1 plus x whole to the power it is minus 1 that is 1 divided by 1 plus x. This is your uh, integrating factor value. After finding this integrating factor value, then you need to write uh, the solution using the linear differential equation method. What is that linear equation method? Uh, you have to write the solution is uh, dependent variable. What is that dependent variable? t into integrating factor z equal to integration that is q of x into i f that is dx plus constant. This is your formula. According to this formula go on substituting t into what is that i f? i f we have 1 divided by 1 plus x that is minus sign I brought to denominator 1 divided by 1 plus x integration and right side is q of x this quantity 1 plus x into e to the power x whole divided by it is 1 plus x and it is dx and plus constant I hope so uh, that is 1 plus x into e to the power of x multiplied by integrating factor I did it therefore this term cancels then integration e to the power x it is dx plus constant therefore t divided by 1 plus x is there and integration is e to the power x plus constant and final value that is t is equal to sin y therefore sin y sin y in the numerator 
and 1 plus x in the denominator is equal to e to the power of x plus constant. This is the final answer for uh, Bernoulli's differential equation of uh, the product type 1 plus x e to the power of x into secant y. Of course, uh, it was reduced to the linear form. Let me take one more uh, example on Bernoulli's differential equation in the same uh, <coughs> type of calculation with some values that is uh, c value is to be calculated because these are all general solutions. Now, the particular solution I will take uh, where c value is to be evaluated at some point, at some point means x equal to some number then uh, corresponding number of y is given. As you studied in the previous 2-3 discussions, the constant value is to be evaluated in particular. Let me take uh, that example as uh, the constant value is to be calculated with the same Bernoulli's differential equation. Solve. x cube y square plus of x y into d x into d x is equal to d y with y of 2 is equal to 3. It is given the initial condition in this case. This is a new <coughs> calculation. New calculation means this condition uh, we did not study in Bernoulli's differential equation that type of condition. But the advantage is that condition you can calculate the value of this constant. That means your solution uh, at that sta uh, stage your solution is not complete. That means it is not a particular solution. Using this condition you will be able to write the uh, value which is uh, a number we call it as a particular value of the arbitrary constant. Okay. So, how this problem gives solution uh, with a particular value of the constant, let us see. Solution, but it is not in the ready form, this problem is in a different way. Uh, given that x cube into y square plus x y uh, multiplied by dx is equal to dy. First, as I told you that uh, immediately it looks like uh, the problem is possible in separation of variables or homogeneous or exact. You can easily check all the methods, <coughs> but by inspection, general uh, from my side, general observation, it does not come in separation of variables, it does not come in homogeneous, it does not come in uh, uh, that is exact differential equation. All the three will fail. Then you will have to switch over to linear differential equation. 100% it is not linear because of these degrees, because it is a non-linearity. Then we have to study through this Bernoulli's differential equation. That is the only last option. We have to take up this problem uh, not in any one of the previous cases, but it is only the Bernoulli's differential equation. But an additional calculation is there. That additional calculation is nothing but you have to use the given initial condition and how that constant value you are going to evaluate that uh, matters uh, uh, to say that it is a complete uh, a solution of the differential equation. Okay. So, we will do that first. First, you will have to attach that means dy is not multiplied by y. Any one of these two terms dy is not multiplied. It is the first uh, important clue this problem has given the advantage. Uh, you need not to write in dx by dy form, you can write directly that is dy by dx form. Here, you can write that word also. Here, y into dy uh, form, y into dy form is not occurred, is not occurred, then it is of the form, it is of the form. <coughs> dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. Uh, I hope you have followed because y into dy term is not appeared. 
y into dy term if it appears then you will write as dx by dy form but it is a dy by dx form ok. So, uh, first of all the problem is to be reset by shifting this dx to the other side x cube y square plus x into y is equal to dy by dx. This is first observation. Second observation put this uh, term along with this term put this term independently from both of these two. How we are going to write dy by dx and minus xy is equal to x cube into y square. This is uh, at one stage. <coughs> one stage means we are going to expect right side should be it is and uh, you know uh, free from uh, the uh, y term so that we can take this uh, division uh, this term as division means which is to be removed from that place ok dy by dx that is y square is to be uh, removed I will be taking dividing by y square ok throughout you divide by y square so that this, from this position we can remove y to the power minus 2 left side it is dy by dx minus uh, this should be xy divided by it is y square correct huh? <coughs> this is equal to x cube that means we are removed that y square further simplification uh, y to the power minus 2 it is dy by dx uh, minus ok x into y to the power minus 1 when you take this y to the numerator after cancelling 1y but 1y remains that I will be writing 1y to the numerator that is equal to x cube right then y to the power uh, minus 2 dy by dx right and plus of it is minus x put this value in brackets uh, minus x and y to the power minus 1 is equal to x cube this is at one stage. So, every problem in Bernoulli's differential equation we arrange uh, exactly of this nature afterwards we will think of the substitution. Now, what is the su substitution we are going to select put y to the power <coughs> minus 1 is equal to t minus 1 into y to the power minus 2 it is dy equal to dt y to the power minus 2 dy is available here that product we are going to replace uh, as minus of dt then from this differential equation we have y to the power minus 2 into dy is equal to minus dt divided by it is dx uh, plus of minus x and uh, t is equal to x cube. I will remove this minus sign from dt by dx then I will make it dt by dx free from minus sign that should be dt by dx and this minus becomes plus sign x into t that is equal to minus of x cube. This is very clear dy by d, uh, dt by dx ok dt by dx uh, plus of uh, px into t is equal to what value uh, is equal to q of x is there correct huh? is equal to q of x is there that means we are um, uh, trying or we are rearranging the existing problem which was nonlinear to the linear form this is nonlinear uh, given nonlinear because x cube and y square this is linear x to the power 1 and t to the power 1. So, that is linear term ok. So, there is a connectivity between right this step and this step this is nonlinear and this is linear that is all. But in between what all the steps we are written all those uh, steps are contributed by linear differential equation procedure right what is the integrating factor now you have to write integrating factor integrating factor for uh, this step existing step is given by eif 
equal to uh, e to the power integral it is p of x into it is dx e to the power integral what is p of x p of x is x only that is right dependent variable into independent variable that is x into dx that is equal to e to the power x square by 2 this is what the term ok e to the power x square by 2 is your integrating factor then the required solution then the required solution required solution of linear ODE which is linear ODE this one this is linear ODE this takes the integrating factor as e to the power x square by 2 then we we do write that is t into i f right that is equal to integral it is q of x into dx and plus cons, uh, dx that is i f i f dx plus constant that is this is equal to i f is what e to the power x square by 2 e to the power x square by 2 as it is you write in the left side e to the power x square by 2 integration that is q of x is minus x cube e to the power x square by 2 it is dx and plus of it is constant ok. <coughs> uh, already you came across uh, uh, the product of the type uh, x square into x you have to split and then you have to choose the substitution here x cube is there that is the advantage minus should be written as x square into x e to the power that is x square by 2 dx and plus constant then uh, this can be this can be taken as anyway so here itself I will write the substitution put put x square by 2 is equal to some z and uh, that is what we want x into dx x into dx is equal to 2 2 cancels because 2 x 2 x dx uh, 2 x dx divided by 2 is equal to dt that is x into dx is equal to dz not dt it is dz then what is the step you are going to write that is the solution step t into e to the power x square by 2 that is equal to minus minus in place of x square you are writing this uh, to z because x square by 2 is equal to z means x square is equal to 2z that is 2z you write and uh, e to the power z you write and uh, that is dx must be written x into dx as dz and plus constant. So, now it is ready for the integration that is minus 2 by parts this is first and this is second that should be z into e to the power z minus <coughs> minus uh, z differentiation is 1 and e to the power z is twice different uh, integration that is same thing and plus of constant that is t into this much. So, t into e to the power it is x square by 2 that is equal to 2 into with minus sign and z what is that z? z equal to x square by 2 then e to the power x square by 2 z because you have to put back in the form of the same symbol right minus of e to the power x square by 2 plus of constant what is the next step you can think of that is you have to write all the values in terms of the given symbols what is t you have taken so uh, here that is t is substitution you, you have selected that uh, t value must be y to the power minus 1 this is y to the power minus 2 together you have replaced this is y to the power minus 1 right t means y to the power minus 1 right e to the power x square by 2 
is equal to is equal to minus 2 is equal to minus 2 and e to the power x square by 2 right uh, you can take common and x square by 2 minus 1 and plus of constant this is nothing but <coughs> y to the power minus 1 uh, you can bring it to the denominator e to the power x square by 2 divided by y is equal to minus 2 into e to the power x square by 2 e to the power x square by 2 multiplied to x square by 2 and minus 1 and it is close the bracket and plus constant that is all. It is outside the bracket plus of constant. Then this is the uh, final solution in terms of the given symbols. If the condition is not asked then this will be the last step but because of this condition now the value of the constant is to be evaluated. Let us see uh, what is the value of that constant at x equal to 2 and y is equal to 3. x equal to 2 means e to the power 4 by 2 that is e square divided by 3 equal to minus 2 and e to the power 2 okay minus 2 e to the power 2 multiplied by this much x square that is 4 by 2 means 2, divo 2 minus 1 plus of constant that is e square <coughs> yeah, uh, e square by 3 and uh, there, there is a minus sign that is 2 minus 1 is 1 and plus of 2 times that is e square uh, right minus 2 this becomes 2 to the other side as plus sign that is equal to constant ok e square if you take outside that means e square 1 by 3 plus 2 that is 1 by 3 plus 2 means 3 to the 6 that means 7 by 3 it is e to the power 2 is equal to constant therefore your final solution will be final solution will be uh, by the inclusive of this constant e to the power x square by 2 divided by y is equal to is equal to minus 2 right e to the power x square by 2 multiplied by x square by 2 minus 1 and uh, plus of 7 by 3 plus of 7 by 3 e square uh, 7 by 3 e square in place of constant. So, this is your final answer. So, with this I would like to stop up to Bernoulli's the differential equation, but, uh, but I still give few problems for your practice on this Bernoulli's differential equation. You can try on your own. I will just go on writing some problems in the selected order so that those problems you can practice and uh, <coughs> um, better you take the, all these problems on some priority. Okay. I will write some problems on Bernoulli's differential equation. So that the uh, perfection of this method if you want to make you have to go for uh, extra examples and then do it. Okay. Those problems I will write for Bernoulli's differential equation because it is the main topic of your uh, syllabus in the differential equation one among the main topics and uh, you have to solve some extra problems solve the following what is first one dy by dx is equal to <coughs> x square plus y square plus 1 divided by it is 2 x y. Next example e to the power y dy by dx plus 1 equal to e to the power x. <coughs> Next example that is dy by dx equal to y divided by x plus of 
it is root of x y. To every problem I will give the hint, accordingly you can take the steps. Second square y dy by dx plus x into tan y <coughs> is equal to x cube. At least uh, one or two problems you can practice in detail uh, looking to the previous, <coughs> previous steps otherwise previous problems looking to the previous problems you can practice. Now the first problem, these are all also look to be not in the direct approach where you can study all of a sudden as Bernoulli's. Now <coughs> this is if you observe that dy which is multiplied, dy is multiplied by y here. That means when it is the case you cannot write the problem with uh, dy by dx form, <coughs> I am sorry. then you need to write uh, in a different way that is dx by dy because there is a product y is multiplied to dy. This should be dx by dy, dx by dy plus p of y into x is equal to q of y into x to the power n. Of this kind you have to transfer and then study. Here dy is also multiplied by e to the power y, this is also similar, similar type because e to the power y is there then you need to write uh, anyway you, you send this to the other side so that uh, you can reverse the format and here dy by dx this is also same type here if you take the cross multiplication that is uh, here dy is multiplied by y is there. Okay. Only denominator if it was x, denominator if it was x whether under square root sign or outside square root sign uh, y is not there then you would have taken that as uh, dy by dx format but it is dx by dy same format again you have to follow. Right? Let me see here <coughs> this is also same type because secant square y means y is multiplied to dy this is also dx by dy format plus p of y into x is equal to q of y into x to the power n. So this time all the four problems you are going to take up in uh, one format uh, that is dx by dy plus p of x into uh, p of y into x that is equal to q of y into x to the power n. So with this I would like to stop uh, the Bernoulli's uh, differential equation. And the next uh, important topic is uh, linear differential equation that is very very important topic. Maybe in my next lecture I am going to start uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficients. There one important uh, notation you are going to take up that is called inverse differential operator. Thank you.